Welcome to Learn News. Subscribe to my channel for exciting tutorials. Hey all, welcome once again to Learn News. Today I have come back with another exciting tutorial which is on HashiCorp console with the help of Spring Boot Cloud or a Spring Boot project rather where uh, we are going to show you how HashiCorp console is used as a service discovery and uh, can also be used for monitoring health checks. Okay. So what is console you might ask? The question is very simple. Console is a software first released in 2014 for DNS based service discovery and provide distributed key value storage segmentation configurations and the registered services and nodes they can be queried, queried using a DNS interface or an HTTP interface where uh, it, it's actually a product from HashiCorp and it has the wonderful uh, feature of uh, finding out the services service can communicate with one another with the help of uh, the name of the DNS simply and use cases are as follows like service discovery health check network infrastructure automation multi-platform service mesh but what we are going to focus is, uh, in this tutorial is a service discovery and health check so our use case uh, scenario here is it comprises of this is say for example this is our system or it can be any server so here are two microservices one is an order service another is a payment service both are say for example having IPs as provided and hosted to ports as mentioned say for example the UI the front end is trying to hit the REST API endpoint for the order service okay while placing an order while there is a confirmation while the order is in the basket or in the cart uh, the order is being placed the this endpoint is getting invoked and once this endpoint is getting invoked so there would be a payment interface so there would be a payment interface and that payment interface say for example is exposed with the help of this endpoint for the service payment which is payment do pay okay but the thing is that here while making a call for this endpoint the order service has to know the ip address of the payment service where uh, the, or, or the machine where or the virtual machine where this payment service is hosted but what we could find a solution where the order the services could communicate with each other on the basis of the application name or dns so let us configure uh, some tool so ha what HashiCorp come up with is a tool which can do this uh, thing other than HashiCorp console you have Eureka server but other than Eureka server console is very much robust and uh, configuration is quite easier you can do it with uh, with a very easily and when console comes into the picture the IP addresses vanishes and simply in place of this IP addresses the names of the services they comes up okay as simple as that so this is our uh, use case scenarios that we are going to cover so what I did is I have set a uh, used utilized a spring boot applic two spring boot applications uh, where uh, we have previously I have demonstrated uh, with the help of the order payment gateway services the order payment service microservices uh, in our microservices tutorial I have already demonstrated that and here you can find out that uh, these are the two services order service and payment service okay and uh, in this order service what I have done is I will share you with this code basis no need to worry about that so what I did is there is a service what does this service do there are repositories I have also utilized h2 database along with them and uh, the h2 database i have utilized so what they what it will happen is simply there would be a payment service and that payment service will call a payment service uh, payment uh, slash uh, do pay in will be invoked okay yes as i was saying here uh, this tx transaction response class is there this place order is the driving class main 
driving uh, method over here so whenever there an order is placed the order will be the repository will save the order details in the uh, repository for uh, order service and there would be a payment request a payment object where we are we will be setting all the order id along with the amount and uh, where uh, the order object will provide with the id quantity and unit price and those will be aggregated together multiplied along with to get the amount and uh, below is the url of the payment service where we will be uh, calling this service url yes the service url and uh, here this service url method is doing what it's here we have declared a discovery client this discovery client is basically doing what it will search on the basis of the service name and will find the first service from the uh, console and it will return that only if payment service there are multiple payment service it would be searching for the first payment service and on the basis of that it will try to resolve the end point for that whatever we are passing it over here and will uh, try to uh, provide the url back there and if that is not present there would be service unavailable exception okay and then we are simply with the help of rest template posting to this url the payment request object and we are expecting a payment response we are expecting the payment object itself okay so this is the payment request object we are sending it and we are expecting a payment request a payment response and then finally we are sending this transaction response as the output to the uh, front end of the uh, order api wherever, wherever the order api is getting invoked okay and here in the payment response in the payment service you will find a service class which is simply here you will find it in the service so the payment service here it is doing what this do pay method is adding a payment status and adding a transaction id this payment status is doing what and finally also it's saving the payment uh, in the database and uh, here you could you could see that uh, this is the payment status we you can integrate with uh, a third party payment uh, gateway say for example gpay or paytm you can use that but instead of that i have utilized a random boolean i am returning it whether on the basis of success or failure so this is the overall stuffs and uh, let us come to the demo section i would be showing you a demo crisp one and uh, first thing that we need to do is bring the console server up okay so the, here is the command console agent hyphen server hyphen bootstrap expect equal to one and a data directory is console data and followed by ui and this is the ip address of my machine that i am going to use it and once i give the ip address along with that our console server would be up okay fail to start the console server So we need to change the IP for a while because uh, this IP along with the whatever uh, network we are connected to this one changes over here so I actually provided the wrong IP so here our console server is up and you have to allow this console is running and uh, the port 838200 sorry 8500 our console is up and here you will find the console by hashicorp this console is up and previously since i have tested this too you will find the order and payment over here and uh, okay so what i will do is i will try to run both the applications order and payment service 
so first of all i will start the order service let me start the order service over here okay and simultaneously i would start the payment service application payment service application i will also start it over here okay and payment service is getting up and once both the service are up you will find it i am also using h2 database in order to persist the uh, transaction whatever taking place okay both the order and payment services are up let me see the console url over here okay both our servers are up both the services are up and uh, you could see the or details of everything the agent live and reachable the status of the order service and simultaneously you will uh, once you check the payment service as well the status the output is agent alive and reachable okay fine now we'll come back to the demo part over here so this is one of the so this is one of the data that we are trying to post it with the help of order and place order i will simply send it over here and what in the response i will get is from the payment service the details is uh, <clears throat> the uh, net amount will be sent over here along with that there is a transaction id that is being sent and along with the status whether the status is a failure or a success on the basis of transaction id that could be tracked whether our status is uh, whether the st whether our status of the final payment is a positive or a negative one so what i will do is i will show you this data same data let us cross check over here in the h2 console okay i will connect with it and followed by the uh, that was for the order and here it is for the payment i will first test the connection and these are actually the embedded database that comes handy uh, if you add it in the dependencies we'll see the data that has persisted in the order table and the same data it will be shown in the payment table along with the payment id and here this order id and uh, payment status followed by total amount and the transaction id so in this way this is getting mapped i will quickly come on to one thing which i have forgotten to share is the pom.xml for the order service and the payment service and uh, here is the pom.xml this is the actual dependency that you need to have it uh, inside uh, the pom.xml for the for both the order as well as the payment services and in the payment service as well you need to have it this is must in order to uh, check it okay uh, so in this way we are we have uh, provided you with the wonderful session so hope you're liking learn news in this way i would be concluding my session over here so what i have shown in brief there's an order and payment gate into services they're communicating with one another with the help of console embedded uh, uh, providing as a service discovery so in this way i conclude my session over here hope you're liking learn news please come back to my channel subscribe to my channel i would be back again with another exciting tutorials stay tuned thank you